Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to our Bonacle review, and today's of which is on, on Mystica Gali and Gorast from 2008. So we'll start off with the casters, like always, but you see a picture of the set in action, Bonacle logo, and the look, and the names of which, and then Mystica logo, Lego logo, and the age recommendation, name, or I mean set number, amount of pieces. Also, some of these casters a little interesting that they're actually hard material like the Toa Nikas, or haven't seen since the Toa Nikas at this time. But also, how some things are opposite between the Toa and Makudas. But also, the Litz, which are the Kanoe Ignaika, which where, where one side is nice and clean and the other side is quite scratched. And, so of course, Toa are showing the clean side, and the Kuda show the corrupted, scratched side. So a bit as a way of showing good and evil. But and on one side, which is of course the Bonk logo and the little symbol of Cardinui. So just like the Toa and Nikas ones, where it had Voyanui. And if you look to the back, you see the Mystica Bonk logos again, and. Also, how they come connect with the Apatorn Shalmatorns from the earlier Winter Fantoka waves, but not sure why that is. I guess they just didn't want to bother using other Matorn, making other Matorns for this line, of course. And then how to shoot the Naira Ghost Blaster, put back the casters, and then the bio codes, which I don't think are valid or anything anymore. And all the warnings and barcode, of course. And then also pictures of all the Mystica together. Also, a little interesting to notice with these canisters is kind of hard to open up if you know the right ways. Kind of hard. At least until they fixed that up in the with the Glatorian line, of course, with a little slot to put it there, like the Anikas, of course. And on to the manuals, oh, it's somewhat the same picture as on the front of the canisters, of course. Uh, I'm just going to show one because the ads in them all quite the same. You see, ad for the online survey, and then ad for Lego Club, and the Matoran combinations, and all the Mystica down below, and the pieces included in the last building steps. But also to note is that in each manual starts with that and how to build the Ghost Blaster because it's its own separate build by itself and then onto the character of course. So starting out with uh, Golly Mystica. So this was for also first time of having Golly since 2002 obviously. And also that the uh, legs of uh, which just the metro feet and the uh, little jet things on her feet, of course. And as you see, the uh, lower legs and lower arms are, of course, Anika limbs. But whereas if you look at uh, old Toa Nuva Gali, then both the arms and legs were the same pieces, so just an homage to that. And also the uh, shoulder pad or like pads for that, and of course the torso just, which same as Tahu's the uh, uh, Paraka torso of course. Although, oh, which not so much feminine this version of Golly is, unlike other versions of course. And on to with the Ghost Blast or Nimrod Ghost Blaster is. Where, with Gollies in particular, which does have this little scope peak thing making her a bit of a sniper. Although the missile you can also store on it and hold it just like some of the other launchers that press on it and shoots off like so. But sometimes it just falls down right away, making them kind of flawless. But as you'll see in this review, there's that the Toa Makuda's ones kind of differentiate on that. 
<clears throat> the card has a lot of attack win points. Let's do it, of course. And what's exclusive to this version of Golly is the shoulder pad pieces, which are sort of like the Anika shoulder pad pieces, but just with one connection instead of like two, and also has look kind of like gears, but just sticking right out, of course. And not as much floppy, or almost as floppy as that. And then on the back is an, an actual Anika shoulder piece, but as the Matoran attacher thing, but just which you'll see in a moment, of course. And also the mask, which is kind of the most interesting, cool part, is even though it main doesn't resemble Golly a bit at all. But of course, this has some attachment points to attach the little wing pieces to the mask. And these wing pieces were introduced in this Mystica line, of course and used a lot in other themes since, and uh, as you can see, the uh, plus rod that you have to add into it rather than being a part of the mask. And like the other sets at this time, used a Metru head, and of course, the later Brainstock piece that Kongumari used. Also, what I don't understand with Golly here is why the head's attached from the back, rather than like attached to the front part oh it makes her semi bit hunched which d should work better which they should have done for odua although it makes it hard to golly look up now although also with like some uh, chest armor for golly here or of course same with tahu obviously well builds almost like that of tahu's well, Tahu Mystica's ones, but just some different things to that, to her, of course. But also to note these. If compared to the three other Toa that were in the winter Mantoka line, is as you see, does have do have a lot of gray compared to the regular color, but in this Mystica line, do have a lot of silver rather than gray. Kind of interesting how that is. Uh, but it's a lot there. Not sure why that is. is in, if you know why, comment below, of course. Although, what I think this golly should have had is let the mask piece not have the scope. Although, it does look nice, and also, I would like. If it were translucent, like the original Golly Mata's version, but although the uh, shaping of it is kind of like that of a uh, uh, reboot Golly in 20, er, 15, 16, Generation Two versions, of course. And I guess that is it. Oh, also, last thing with her is to have Tonfa attached to her. Right. Oh, it's just like so. And can have assistance from Tantma, of course. And of course, although there was always a bit some connection between her and Liwa in the earlier times, of course. And that is it with Gollum. And now uh, Gorost. Oh, it's one of the honest Mokudas. Oh, the legs of which do have a chicken like kind of look, but of what was exclusive to her art, well, her and Bittel were these uh, claw pieces, but as but are black and with some light green to it. And Bittel's was, of course, in silver. And as the, for all the Mystica Makudas, is have all the Avatar limbs which don't bend and whatnot. Although I'm not sure why that is, probably little lazy designs or something. And as a little thing I don't get with Gorost, or don't like with Gorost, is the chest plate in dark gray. I think should have been at least black, like matching with the rest of the color scheme, of course. And of course it's backwards. 
as which they also did with Vastas in the Glatorian Legends line, of course. And lower arms, also like that. And from the back, attached to a Vakti uh, lower body piece. So there's both lower body pieces used for her. And the upper arms also there, but with these new improved claw pieces. Kind of similar to Duperu and Ika's claws, but just more downwards and extended. Of which, cool, of course, good for Maki. And the, onto the wing pieces here, these wings, which have one bit of connection to them, or a couple points of connection to them. And if I turn it around, don't know if you can notice on camera, but it can, the shape, move around a little. And of course, it's lenticular, of course. And of course, although this piece did stay exclusive to her until in in 2012, Hero Factory Thornrax did. And as for the neck, which is just comprised of a Mechu arm and then to the mask image, which is soft rubber, and as you see, it's comprised of lime green and black, and with a little stinger in the front, and attached to one bit, so well, it connects to a regular hand piece with a pair of Borak eyes, of course, only you can use it in other colors if you wanted to, of course. Let me get that to Although, also with the wing pieces, I don't get why they are on the upper arms. Although what some people oftentimes did was attach it onto those holes. And does also work out just fine. Although you can kind of modify her in some ways you want. And on to, and on to the Tora Radiac and how to attach her to it, or attach him to her, it is also like so. There's quite good combination. But also with this common attachment, where with the two other Makuta Mysticas, just like the rest of the Fantoka Mystica, where it has to lean forwards and all, but I guess the other Makuta don't work, weren't as much blind, so I guess it didn't matter much. And of course this just about like with all the Tola ones. So now, on to with the final verdict on the two. So overall, these I think a pretty cool pair of Mystica sets. Well, for the time of which, like, new version of Golly, of course, and also so with Gorask being insect-like, which the other two Makudas also were. Well, so do provide plenty of good mocking pieces, of course. And, oh, also with the Ghost Blasters is that the Makudas are, have red and black, or red and green uh, colorings, but it's usually lightish gray for the Toas. It kind of blends in with the colors, and the Makudas kind of stand out a little. Well, and yeah. But also overall is. Although Golly may be a little lacking on her usual appearances, but at least it's kind of, it can be forgiven. But, and as Goros, the witch, also quite unique. Like a witch being like having four arms and all. So if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them.
And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.